SJC Libraries – Advanced Search Methods Using Discovery When you are beginning your research on a topic, you may want to start by using the Discovery tool. In this video, you will learn how to use Discovery to search for ebooks and articles. For the purposes of this presentation, I will use the Callahan Library, but the skills demonstrated are the same for both SJC Libraries. From the Callahan Library homepage, Scroll down towards the bottom of the page and under the Discovery tab, click on Advanced Search. This will bring us to the Discovery tool. On the right hand side of the page, the Databases section indicates that there are currently eight databases pre selected. It is important to note that while Discovery includes many databases, it does not include all of them. There are 62 databases available in Discovery but the SJC libraries currently subscribe to 209. All databases can be searched directly without using Discovery, and there are other tutorials covering search strategies for many of these. Okay, so in the right-hand column, let's click on Searching Databases, and then click on Quick Search, and then Select All in Group. This clears all of the pre-selected databases. Now let's choose several databases. First, we'll choose Academic Search Complete. Next, OmniFile, Research Library, WorldCat. Let's scroll down and search for the Education Group and click on Education to expand it. And select Education Database. We'll select Professional Development Collection and ProQuest Psychology Journals. Now notice that I did not select ERIC. I find it more efficient to search ERIC through the EBSCO databases directly. So if I scroll back to the top, I'm going to click on Save Changes. And now let's enter some search terms. For the first term we're going to make it a subject search and I'll enter in the term early childhood within quotes. When I enclose a phrase within quotes the search engine will search for this phrase exactly looking for all of the enclosed terms and with the words in that order. Okay so the next search will be a keyword and we'll make that special education again in quotes Click on Search, and we have 977 results. So let's limit these results. In the left-hand column, under Refine the Search, and under Format, you can see Books. I'm going to select eBook, and this will leave us with 12 results. Now all these eBooks are fully accessible online. Let's look a little closer at the title, Early Learning Goals for Children with Special Needs, Learning Through Play, by Colette Drift. Now at the bottom right of this record, there's a Cite button. If we click on the Cite button, we have a pull-down with different citation styles, and I'll select APA 7th Edition. And below that, we're presented with the citation. Now you may notice that the last line of the citation says insert missing URL and I will demonstrate in a moment where you could find that link. It's called a permalink. Next to the site is link. This provides you with a link to the record. And next to that is email. and You can use this to email yourself the, the record. To view the ebook, click on the blue button view ebook. And if you're not on campus, you'll be prompted to log in using your MySJC credentials. Okay, and here's the ebook. You could read it right online. Now, earlier I had mentioned a permalink. So, in the left hand column, there's a link called Share Link to Book. So, if I click on that, it provides me with what is known as a permalink. So I would take this link and I would replace the text from the other citation that I had from Discovery where it said insert missing URL. I would replace that text with this link. Okay? 
Okay, so let's close the ebook, go back to our discovery search results, and let's search for articles. Okay, under Refine the Search in the left hand column, we're going to check Article, and we're going to uncheck ebook, and we'll apply a few more limiters now. Under Content Type, let's Click on Full Text, also Peer Reviewed, and under Publication Year, I'm going to select five years, but you may want to check with your professor as to what the requirements are for your assignment. Okay, so now I have 137 results. If we look at the first record, you might notice that the site, link, and email buttons are available for these as well. Okay, so all those features that we saw for the ebook record are also available for the articles. And if I wanted to view the full text, I would click on the View Full Text button, and the article will launch in the appropriate platform, in this case, ProQuest. As mentioned earlier, you can also access journal articles directly through the databases. At the top left of the page on the blue banner, click St. Joseph's College. This will return you to the Callahan Library homepage. Scroll down a little bit and select Databases, and then Callahan List of Databases. This is where you will find the full list of library databases. Note that the most commonly used databases for child study are EBSCO, Maine, and ProQuest. For a list of relevant child study databases, visit the Child Study Subject Guide. To get there, go back to the Library Home page and click on the Subject Guides tab and then Callahan Subject Guides. Click on Education and Child Study and finally child study and this is the child study subject guide the third tab across labeled articles and databases if you click on that that gives you all the relevant databases for this subject area if you find that you need additional assistance you can use our chat service which is available on most library pages you can also email us for Callahan Library, the email is callahan at sjcny.edu. For the McIntaggart Hall Library, the email is mcintaggart at sjcny.edu. Thank you for your attention.